<laughs> Do you know that of PG? Yeah, mate, he's some Kiwi. <laughs> exactly, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, Levi Hawkin, famous Kiwi skater. That's that good. Up to G. My name's Matt from Van Dam Longboard Shop. I'm here today to talk to you about cruiser skateboards, explain a few differences, and help you choose the right one for your type of riding. Got three real main types here today. We've got mini cruisers, small as it gets. We got your kind of average length one, that's about the same size as a regular skateboard, but a bit flatter. And last but not least, we got your pool shape, that's a bit wider and it's got a full nose, a bit more aggressive, and you can take that one in the skate park too. Alright, mini cruisers, it's in the name, they're mini. Call it under 30 inches, it's a loose definition. A few options here, we got the Lush Fuel, very nice. Worth pointing out with something like this, completely flat on the front, no nose. It's got your tail so you're nimble around town, but the flat nose gives you more standing platform for the same size board and allows the front truck to be moved forward and a longer wheelbase is going to make you marginally more stable than a board with a nose. On the other hand, got the Land Yacht's dinghy. Same thing, same size, but this one's got the nose. If you want to be ollieing and tricking around, that's really going to help you out. It does mean that your trucks are a little further back, slightly less stable. Still super nimble, super fun to ride. This one over here, this is the Arbor Pocket Rocket and it's got a really pretty picture on it. These things are compact, they're easy to store, they're light to carry and they're super nimble to ride. If you're taking the bus, the train, if you're skating to work or school, they'll go under your desk, they'll go in your locker. If space is an issue, check out the Mini Cruiser range. First up, ever popular, the Land Yachts Tugboat. Similar to the dinghy, bit of extra width. You've still got your nose and you've got a pretty good concave so for you, it keeps you locked in for your calves. This one's from Loaded Longboards. Things to look out for, it's a bit longer. It's almost a maxi cruiser, I'd call that. And you've got a lot more going on on the deck. You've got wheel arches, concave, tail. The wheel arches are gonna allow you to ride bigger wheels, have less risk of wheel bite, but still roll over anything rough. Last one, we've got the Lush. Nomad Gazer. Super beautiful. Similar to the fuel, this one again is flat all the way to the front and a much milder concave. So for a day of skateboarding, cruising around, it's gonna feel really nice under your feet. That's actually my favorite of the lot. And it's not as beautiful, but there you go. That's what it'll look like after a few months of good skating. All right. Last but not least, we've got your pool shapes. Transition boards, retro inspired cruisers. These usually have a fuller nose, they're more trick friendly, and you can think of these as your skateboarder's longboard or your longboarder's skateboard. You may notice that a few of these don't have trucks on. We do build them up as completes, but with some boards, especially something like this, a lot of people want that as is, no grip tape. Put your own trucks and wheels on it, we love it. So a few differences in your pool shapes. This one, for example, a little bit of a taper, not too much in the way of hips. That's good for skating forwards, backwards, whichever way you like. This one, on the other hand, a big taper. That's gonna feel more directional because you've got a lot more width under the front foot for that turning capability. Last but not least, from Arbor, this is Axel's model. 34 inches and completely symmetrical, bit of a diamond tail. Forwards, backwards, side to side. This is also 34 inches long and those extra two inches are gonna make you a bit more stable if you do pick up some speed going down a hill. Cool, I hope that's given you a bit of an overview. Last few questions we sometimes get asked. Penny boards, are they good? There's a reason they're not in this video. Wheel size, what difference does that make? Bigger wheels are gonna roll smoother and longer over rougher ground. Smaller wheels are gonna accelerate faster. We set our cruisers up with about maximum 65 or 66 millimeter wheels. Bigger than that, you're gonna be struggling with wheel bite. Other than that, there's not really a bad choice here. They're all going to roll, they're all going to turn, and they're all going to give you a lot of fun. Get out there and enjoy. Cheers.